What is masking? Well, you are actually going to be seeing me practicing it in this video. And so what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be trying to hold my head as still as possible. No swaying side to side, no going up and down. And the other thing I'm going to be focusing on is making sure that periodically I look away from the camera. So you're asking, what is masking? Well, it is where if you're on the spectrum, you suppress your natural tendencies or your natural behaviors, whether that's not making eye contact or maybe it's uh, repetitive body movements or whatever, whatever other behaviors you have. And so you're basically suppressing them to more assimilate to that of neurotypicals. And so the two things I'm going to be focusing on during this video is, of course, making sure I keep my head as still as possible to get rid of that habit that I've noticed that I've been doing in a lot of my other videos. And also making sure I'm not making uh, aggressive eye contact, making sure I'm, per uh, see, I caught myself moving my head. When I look away, I got to make sure I keep my head still. Now, why am I doing this? Now, first thing, I asked my therapist, can you ever become uh, so used to masking that it becomes natural? In other words, well, people will not figure that you're faking it. You know that saying, fake it till you make it. And she was like, yes, you can actually get so used to masking that it becomes natural and other people are not going to realize that you're actually masking. And see, that is the whole objective because when it comes to whether you're trying to find a good job, date, or make new friends, it all comes down to, I figure, two components. The first one being physical attractiveness, and the second one is personality. Now, I'm really trying to focus on not making sure I don't move my head at all, and also not overly fixate on the camera. So, why am I doing this? Well, this is something I've actually been working with my therapist, and I had a practice interview with my therapist, especially when it comes to job interviews, because I am pretty much 100% certain that the reason why I did not get any job offers was because I was probably doing something wrong, uh, either through my tone of voice, or maybe not appearing exciting enough, or overly excited, or whatever, whatever the case may be. This is why I am so happy I found a therapist to work on these skills with, because it's not a matter of me lacking the skills or not having the experience. It's the fact that I'm not probably that good of being an interviewer. And likewise, if you're dating, and I've mentioned this in a previous video, when it comes to finding someone to share your life with, fall in love with, sharing common interests, common values, beliefs, yes, that matters. But if you don't have the personality and or looks, well, all those other variables will mean, did don't mean diddly squat. And I know that sounds really harsh, but that's true. You've got to have the personality and or looks. And I know a lot of people will think like, well, if you don't have the looks, you're hosed. But I personally believe that if you're lacking in the looks department, you can make up for it in personality. And you can make up for it with ambition, uh, drive, motivation. So yes, and that all comes down to uh, actually proving that you can succeed and the goals that you meet. So back to this masking. Uh, so why I'm doing this is it's going to be a struggle. It's basically like what I'm going to be trying to do is I know I can't change my personality completely. Like I know there are certain traits you can't really change, especially like as you get older. But I do believe that masking could be the key to unlocking lots of potential, lots of opportunities. And it could potentially get me to a point where I can be natural enough at it and will this become second nature? And it would also, it would just basically mean I can be an authentic self that is more acceptable in today's society. That is the key word. Your authentic self that can be acceptable. Because I mean, if you're trying to be your true, true, true authentic self, that may not work. Now, for some people it does. And if you've got that flamboyant personality, you've got good looks and so forth, yeah, then you can truly, truly be yourself. But for some of us, we have to adjust. We have to conform. We have to learn to assimilate to today's standards if we are to get ahead. So I don't know, you know, I'm really trying to pay attention that I'm keeping my head still. And what else? So that's, and so masking goes much more beyond that. Masking is also making sure that uh, you're reciprocating like facial expressions, 
Uh, it can mean like watching a lot of TV shows, movies, to kind of learn uh, the patterns and behaviors of social interaction. It can also include coming up uh, with scripts prior to engaging in social interaction. Now, I'm going to tell you guys that I am not much into small talk at all. And that, you know, being an introvert, I really don't have a place for small talk. I never really liked small talk that much. But say, if, I want, if we were talking about like simulation theory, if we were talking about like gardening, uh, mushrooms, and I mean, I'm talking like all kinds of mushrooms, or talking about the fate of the universe, or animals, or like the animal kingdom. I could talk for hours and hours and hours. So you guys get the idea. I'm not too much into small talk. I've never been good at it. And the other thing with being on the spectrum is it can often be hard to catch up on sarcasm. That's one of the things I've never really been good at. I'm just trying to hold my phone so I don't... So yeah, so, and then, so as with masking, it's going to take a lot of practice. You know, right now, as you can see, I'm just kind of focusing on making sure I'm not gazing uh, away from the camera too long, but I'm also not fixating on the camera too long and keeping my head still. And what I'm doing is I'm over... It's basically I'm overcorrecting any habits. Because I know in my previous videos, I seem to like um, keep moving my head side to side. And I'm surprised that I really haven't gotten more comments on that. Oh, and on my being ugly video, this is another example of masking. This is where uh, this having conversations uh, will be required with my therapist and maybe coming up with ways. Maybe I'll have like pretend to have like a conversation with chat GPT or something. But in my being ugly video, uh, a lot of people commented that I kept saying what not too many times. And so, yes. So hopefully I haven't been doing that in this video. But yes, repeating. I think I've caught myself saying, oh, yes, too many times. So that's the other thing, too. When it comes to being a good conversationalist and doing good in job interviews, doing good with dating, making friends, you don't want to keep repeating yourself. And I know it seems like I'm trying to, I'm really, I know it may seem like I'm being really unnatural, but that's the way it goes. Because I am determined to make myself a person that will be, you know, more easy to be able to fit in. And one day I can reduce the amount of loneliness I experience. And one day just be able to get ahead in life and start actually uh, seeing some happiness and some fulfillment. But it all comes down to uh, the first step is accepting the fact of who I am introvert uh more than likely the only thing i'm really missing is an actual formal diagnosis uh, i know my current therapist had me fill out some uh, uh, uh test to see you know how far on a spectrum i would be and one of these tests it's like if you're 32 you're considered to be more more than likely on a spectrum i was like a 39 so yes i was definitely way up there but i'm not going to talk about tests in this video I'm just kind of trying to mention to you guys that, yes, masking is a technique to where you suppress those behaviors and you try to more mimic those of neurotypicals. And so in a lot of my upcoming videos, I may seem to be in a very, see, I just caught myself kind of moving my head a little bit. And it's going to seem very unnatural and it's going to take, it, it could potentially take an emotional toll, but that will be worth it in the long run. The stress and the emotional toll that masking can potentially cause. And my therapist has warned me about this, but it will be worth it because, you know, here I am, you know, I'm getting into my 50s. I'll be 49 in only a matter of a few weeks, but, you know, that's going to, that year is going to buy pretty quick. And next thing you know, I'm going to be in my 50s. So I really want to get a, a good handle on getting good at masking and becoming natural at it, kind of changing a little bit of my personality and just have masking become much more natural and just be able to be an authentic self that is more acceptable in today's society. So that's where I'm at now, guys. Uh, it is a Saturday night. Uh, other than that, uh, I actually uh, it's, uh, made a homemade pizza with one of my other roommates. That was pretty cool. So yeah, I'm interested to see I'm actually going to probably watch this video after I upload it to see if I did any excessive head movements, which I hopefully I did it. But now I am going to show you guys what I meant by like head movements, because I figure I might as well give a demonstration and what I'm trying to get rid of. So, OK, so now I am going to be making head movements, but these are the head movements I was kind of talking about. It's like, oh, yeah. And this uh, when I went running today, I was like going up and it was, you know, really raining really hard. And uh, it was just 
trying to avoid puddles and it's like, oh, when my shoes got really wet, I was like, oh, dang it. So you see, that's gonna be really annoying the more I move. So I am gonna be really focusing that on my upcoming, at least on my next uh, few videos, really trying to hone in on like, start, you know, you gotta start off from the beginning, starting off from scratch. And then over time, as I observe people conversating, I will know what kind of head movements to make, body movements to make, but it's all comes down to, uh, oh, and that's the other thing too. Masking can also involve kind of like observing, watching how people conversate and picking up on like, okay, what kind of facial expressions are appropriate? How do you respond non-verbally and so forth? So that is my experience with learning to mask. It is something I'm gonna be practicing a lot over the next several months till one day it becomes natural and I can truly be my authentic self within reason that will be more accepting in today's society. So that way I can finally be like, oh, I'm ready to go out there and mingle and I'm ready to go out there and catch myself, you know, some good times. So I hope you guys are doing good out there. You know, remember sometimes you've got to take steps and they may be uncomfortable at times, but you got to be willing to suffer and push through it if you want to see the other side. So that's all for now, guys. Uh, take care, everyone. Peace out.